Another man who was relentlessly maligned on false grounds is Michael Caputo. He was also an advisor to the Trump campaign, and he joins us tonight. Michael, thanks very much for coming on. You've been sharing with us through the course of this what it's like to be you. And, and I wonder, looking back, now that you have been, in effect, vindicated, you were not working, and neither was anyone working for the U.S. government, for rather the Russian government, how do you, how do you feel? Well, I do feel vindicated, but, you know, I spent uh, uh, Tuesday at the police station in my little village in western New York uh, pressing charges against someone for threatening me on Facebook. You know, this has not ended yet. You know, I'm, I, I'm pretty sure that the rest of us, you know, the, you know, Carter Page and J.D. Gordon and the rest are all suffering the same slings and arrows I am. You know, we may have been vindicated by the Mueller investigation, but we're, I, I don't know where we're going to get our reputations back. So, I mean, what can you do to, I mean, you've lost years of your life. Your family, as you've told us before, has been besieged. You can't work a normal job because of this. Is there anything that you can do to make it right at this stage? Well, I think that I can, I can try to help the, the, the federal government and the Republican Party and the Senate try to uncover what really happened here. I mean, I'd love to get back to work. I, I'm, I'm contacting my old clients who had to leave me because of this mark on my record. But now that I'm vindicated, you know, I, I'm, while I really want to get back to work and make money for my family, I really want to inspire some significant change in yeah. the special counsel law and other ways so people don't go through this again. I love Carter's, by the way, Carter's optimism. I, I'm just a little bit more angry than he is, I think. <laughs> Well, I'm angry just watching it. I've got, I mean, I was only denounced as a Russian spy once by a buffoon, that chairman of the House Intel Committee. I can't imagine what your life has been like. I've thought of you uh, this whole time. So congratulations anyway, uh, because this is, whether it feels like it or not, a vindication. Come, I just want to say one thing, uh, yeah. Tucker. Uh, pardon General Flynn. Pardon George Papadopoulos. And pardon Roger Stone right now, Mr. President. That's it's exactly right. Absolutely. I, I couldn't agree with I could. Don't wait till after the election. Do it now. They deserve it now. Do it Thank right you. now. Do it, do it right now on Twitter. I agree. <laughs> I agree. I agree. Michael Peel, thank you. That would you. blow some minds, wouldn't it? It would. <laughs>